The Holyrood Manifesto of the Scottish Greens has pledged to create 200,000 jobs in oil and gas decommissioning, renewables and housing. The party, which won two seats in the 2011 election, is hoping to beat the record seven seats it secured in 2003. Other promises include a permanent ban on fracking and recruiting 4,000 full-time equivalent teachers. The Greens believe they have the right approach to deliver a bold Holyrood and a better Scotland. The party saw its membership jump to more than 9,000 in the wake of the independence referendum, which had seen the party campaign for a yes vote. It is the second political party to publish its manifesto ahead of the Scottish Parliament election on May 5. UKIP detailed its election pledges last week. The Greens want to see those earning more than £150,000 a year pay a 6-0p income tax rate, a 1-5p increase on the current rate, with a new 4-3p rate introduced for those earning £43,000 or more. After publishing its manifesto, the party's co-convener Patrick Harvey said, We are the only party proposing to cut income tax for those earning less than the average while asking those on high incomes to contribute a fairer share. Scotland can raise extra funds fairly for public services while also tackling inequality. Our manifesto shows how a vote for the Scottish Greens is a vote for a bolder Holyrood, for a plan to deliver lasting jobs, high-quality social care and good homes for all. The Scottish Greens are best placed to meet the challenges of our time. The party's key pledges also include a living wage plus of £9 an hour for social care staff, a 50% increase in the carer's allowance to recognise the value of unpaid care. Enabling councils to buy land cheaply to encourage the construction of more and better homes. A guarantee of work, training, or education for every school leaver. Scrapping the outdated, unfair council tax and phasing in a residential property tax. Priority thesing a healthy start for children with support for healthy pregnancies. Restoring locally accountable policing and investing in crime prevention. Promoting a written constitution and devolving power to local level. And rebalancing the transport budget to tackle underinvestment in walking, cycling, buses and trains.